<laughs> All right, so how does it feel to be back? Uh, it feels amazing to be back. Uh, typical Fortland day to start it off, uh, which is great. Uh, you can tell everybody's stoked. I mean, the off season's obviously a little bit longer than most, so just having everybody back and having um, kind of that excitement around the group, it's a really great feeling. And it's Portland, so you're and happy, right? <laughs> Absolutely. I've been here pretty much all off season, so I feel I feel ready to go. But now you gotta share, you gotta, you gotta share the stadium with people when you're training now. We do. Yeah. What are you talking about? Which, well, it was during the off season, we you, a couple of others, and now it's like. Oh, there's actually a lot of people out here. And a coach, a coach order you Yeah, around. definitely. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a better feeling having the team around than just being out there by myself. But um, it's always the same uh, feeling in Providence Park where it's just like you just want to get after it every day. Can you contrast uh, what the first practice this year was like compared to the first practice under Mark last year? It was great even walking into the locker room, just having the same faces, the same group, um, kind of knowing what to expect under Mark. There's so much that um, we're starting from a, a much different point than we were last year um, in terms of what the expectation and practice is, um, kind of how everybody's level is on the field um, and what to expect from each other. So in that way, I think it's cool because we're already like hitting the ground running. Um. Go ahead, Paul. Well, I was going to ask, how motivating was the way last season ended in terms of you off season, obviously the national team and everything else, but how much did that stick with you with everything else you got going on? Yeah, obviously last season in terms of the end results were pretty disappointing. I thought we had a fantastic season uh, throughout with, with the Thorns and obviously it didn't come off the way we wanted to do it in the end and I think that's just extra motivation to kind of get out and um, maybe fix a few things that we had going on last year but but just really to we know what kind of team we can be and now it's almost putting ourselves again in a good position to um, win a championship. How big is the continuity for example when you with everybody back and how big is that how does that impact the start of the season we've got like 10 practices I think coach with yeah. everybody how does that continuity impact that? Yeah that continuity like you said is everything I think especially at the beginning of the season we already had that uh, as a team so like you said there's only 10 real training sessions before we we get into a competitive match and and for us um, we kind of skip over a lot of the intro pieces that we had to go through last year um, we know the identity of our team and it's just um, getting back um, up to speed with those things and and playing together again I know I've missed playing with a bunch of these girls so so it's great um, being back on the field with everyone. Jordan, can you talk about shifting in and out of national team mode? Uh, you obviously I always get this question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it's a little bit different because like in your first spell as a pro, you didn't have the vibrant club scene you have now. And obviously this is a very strong and specific kind of club. What is it like now shifting from a couple, three months where you're purely focusing on one of your teams and now you're jumping back in the world with another one of your teams. Yeah, I, like I said, I think it's uh, become natural for people that play for both club and country to jump in and out. Um, I think for us here, um, the players that play in Portland, we love coming back here, we love playing here. So it's not so much of a drop off. I mean, in training here, I love coming back to train with this team because I, I do feel like individually I can grow and I think collectively as a team, every time we're training, we're growing together and, and we're learning from each other and learning from Mark and the staff. So I think in that way, it's, it's a positive feeling coming back in with the group. And I think when we go away, it's almost like we take whatever we do there and we try and bring back that, that same energy. So I think um, it's something that is kind of common for, for most of the people that do it. This time you're kind of jumping back in after a rare disappointment. Usually you go away, kind of have a, good, <clears throat> a couple of good results. You had a couple of decent games in the tournament that France happened. Is that is there any lingering effect from that at all? No, there's no lingering effect. I mean, it's a, it's a process. We have a long uh, road ahead of us. We're not um, thinking about, uh, thinking too much about our results right now. It's more of uh, the direction of the team and where we want to go. Um, obviously, losing is, is never good. And um, for that team especially, it's not um, really acceptable on, in any way, whether it's a friendly or whether uh, it's a tournament or whether it's a world championship. Um, 
at the end of the day we have to get the results and so I think that's the learning and growing process obviously it's a it's a new group so so in that way it's it's a it's a process and I think it's it's the challenge at times but um but no I think uh, as quickly as you can you gotta get over that kind of stuff and and continue to build and, and look forward and I'm looking forward to that team as well as this one. I have a couple of the um National team players, obviously, you're playing overseas. You've got some experience playing overseas. Why do you choose to come back to the Thorns? Uh, I love it here. I've I've played in great training environments um, and, and all over the world in different leagues, and um, I think it's fantastic here. Uh, this is where I want to be, and um, I love working with Mark. I love the pieces that we have here in Portland, and um, I feel like a part of the city and attached to it. And, in some weird way I think that most of you probably feel too um, so I'm happy to be here and and I I like my football here so that's always a good feeling so what did Mark want you to you talk about growth what things did he kind of want to see you work on in terms of game in the for, for off season for, for even what was it your off season yeah I don't think there was um, anything really specific I think um, he understands how eager I am to grow as a player, and um, I think that uh, we kind of cooperate well in the way that we communicate and try to. He asks like, what are my um, ambitions, even in small technical ways, and and I ask him the same thing about mm -hmm. the team, and we kind of collaborate in that way to be able to maximize um, both um, what we do on and off the field to to help me grow like, in the off season and also to put the team in a better position going into this new season. So what's something maybe you've grown or developed since we last saw you? I can't tell you my secrets, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to wait for the first day. <laughs> How close do you think you are to the finished product right now? What finished product? Like is best, like the person, that, the player you're gonna be. How close do you think Never, you are? Never, not until I die. <laughs> there is no finished product, everything is a, is a part of, of my growth um, as a person, as a player, I never, I never feel ever finished. When you look across the league, what other teams do you think are threats to you? Mm, it's interesting because I think the league has changed more this year than any year because of 